Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use FME to create a workspace that reads in the schema from an existing PostGIS database table and then writes new data into the table using the correct schema. Often, FME Workspace creates database tables that are a duplicate of the incoming data. However, sometimes a user will want to write to a database table that already exists. When a table already exists, the workspace should reflect the table schema, not the source. And this is achieved from importing the schema of that table from the database. When adding a database writer, the import option allows us to use the schema of a database table that's been created previously. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Safe Software Provided Training Database, which I'll show you how to connect to shortly. This tutorial was created by Liz Sanderson. The first thing we're going to do is open up FME Data Inspector. Once it's open, click on the Open button in the top left corner. In the Select Data Set to View dialog, set the format to PostGIS. For the connection, click on the drop arrow and select the PostGIS training connection that you might have set up in the previous tutorials. If you don't have this connection set up, we will set it up now. Select Database Connection, then enter the following connection parameters. Click on Test to ensure the connection works correctly. Once you get the Successfully Connected Database dialog, click on Save to save the connect. Once you've successfully connected to the database with either the previous created connection or the new one, click on Parameters. In the PostGIS Parameters dialog, click on the ellipsis next to the table list, which will open the Select Table List dialog. Here we can select which table to read. Scroll to find Bike Paths and then click in the box next to it to select it. You should have public.bikepaths listed in the Selected Items section. Once you've selected it, Click OK three times to open the data set. The data should look something like this. That's OK if it looks slightly different. We'll be updating the existing data set to reflect our data. If the data set is missing, please reset the database by following the instructions in resetting the PostGIS training database. Now that we know the tables in the database, or you've fixed the database if it's missing, we can begin our workflow. You can now close FME Data Inspector. We'll be using FME Workbench for the remainder of the tutorial. Start FME Workbench and create a blank workspace. From the Readers menu, select Add Reader. Enter Esri shapefile for the format and select the bikepaths underscore L.SHP file for the dataset. Click OK to add the reader to the canvas. Let's double check to ensure that the new data that we're going to add to the database is similar. The data in the dataset could have been changed to another city. Click on the Reader feature type to open the pop up menu and then select View Source Data to open the visual preview. Here we have a data set containing all the large bike paths within the city of Vancouver. Once the data has been confirmed, we can add the PostGIS writer. To add the writer, click the Add Writer button. In the Add Writer dialog, select PostGIS as a format and select PostGIS Training Database as the connection. We'll now import the schema from an existing table for use in the writer. Choose Import from Dataset as the table definition, then click OK. An important writer feature types dialog will appear. From here we can select which table the schema will be imported from. They are the same location as the writer dataset though that might not always be true. Click on the Parameters button to open the PostGIS Parameters dialog. Then next to the table list, click on the ellipsis. Then select Bike Paths from the public table. Click OK three times to add the schema definition. The schema definition of the selected table is now added to the workspace. Notice that the writer feature type is a copy of the existing database table schema, and not the reader type feature as a standard workspace would create. If you click the drop-down arrow next to each, you will notice that the arrows are yellow and red, which means that the attributes are not correctly mapped. This is due to how PostGIS handles attributes. It has everything lowercase where the attributes coming from the shapefile are mixed case. But we can inspect our data further to ensure that we're using the schema from the original database. Click on the pop-up menu on the writer and select View Written Data. In Visual Preview, you can see that it already has the bike paths data in the database. Additionally, all attributes are the same. Double-click the public.bikepaths writer feature type to open the parameters. Check that the feature operation parameter is set to insert, and then change the table handling to use existing. This will allow us to add more data to the table without overriding it or removing it first. The reader and writer feature types now need to be connected. Connect the bike paths underscore L reader feature type to the public.bikepaths writer feature type. But you can see the attributes are still not mapped. To quickly correct this, right click on the connection line and select auto connect attributes. If you are planning on modifying the attributes or further transforming your data before writing it out, it's recommended that you use the Replace Link with Attribute Manager option instead. Save and run the workspace. Once the workspace has finished running, click on the public.bikepaths writer feature type to open the pop-up menu. In the pop-up menu, click on the View Written Data button to open Visual Preview. 
The bike path table should now have both large and medium bike paths within Vancouver. Note that if the workspace is run more than once, the new data will be added repeatedly. We've successfully wrote new data to an existing PostGIS database table using the correct schema. Again, if you're interested in more tutorials, you can visit this link right here. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.